Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you the basic elements of Java. First, what we're going to do is open Eclipse. And this is considering that you have downloaded Eclipse and imported the Java libraries from their website. If you didn't, I'm going to put down the instructions in the description below. They're pretty simple. Alright, first off, we are going to create a new application. So from up top here, we are going to create a new Java project. And we are going to name the project as first. And we're going to finish this. So here's your project. When we click the small arrow to the left, this is your Java library. You're not going to really going to need it. And this is your SRC. This is the bin. This is where all your classes and all your info for the project is going to be. So we select the SRC and we are going to create a new class, a new Java class. And what, are, what should we name it over here? We're going to name this as Learn Java. Finish that. And here's your class. Then this opens up. This is where you modify and put in your code. And every class should have a method. Method are just branches of classes where you put in the code into method. It keeps it more organized and and that's what they are. And over here, learn Java. This file name is supposed to be the same. This is what keeps these two connected. So what if I change this to just learn? You're gonna get an error over here. And go the good thing about Eclipse is I could just cl click on that bulb and it's gonna give me these two options. Rename type to learn Java. And first we, every class should have a main method and we are gonna write the main method right now. Public static void main and inside these brackets over here you're gonna need to set the parameter for the main method the parameter is string args and every method or even with classes what you need to have an open bracket open curly brace and close curly brace so now what people normally do is when their code gets long they create new classes I mean new methods where they write where they branch out their code public void kad there you go this is another method but for now I'm just gonna teach you everything in the main method first off declaring variables now say we need x and inside x we want to store the value one two three four now you see you're getting this error it's not going to work because first off you have to tell the computer what is x what type is it so this is an one two three four is an integer so we're going to put int x and you're still going to have an error over here that is because you're going to need a semicolon Every time you tell a computer, give it a command, you are going to need a semicolon. And this yellow bulb is just uh, is just telling us that we haven't used the variable x yet. Now, say we are going to use string. Uh, string. String. Second. So inside the string second, I want to store a sentence or a phrase. So what I'm going to need is quotations, open quotations, and close quotations. And inside that, I'm going to say, this is my first Java. And since this is a, a command, we are also going to need the semicolon over here. 
now we are gonna oh another thing in x say if the number one two three four was a decimal so I say int y is equal to 1.2 it's not gonna work it's gonna give me an error that is because one point anything point which has a decimal is not really considered an integer in Java what we could do it this as uh, we could rename that as float or float doesn't work double that's what I use normally so double is for decimals now just to have a simple output we're gonna put system dot out dot print line um gateway now uh, let's compile this and run it over here so you see it prints out gateway and now I want it to print out something else say I'm gonna put gateway is equal to over here say I wanna print out the string second after this but I don't wanna write this whole thing out so what we normally do is after the second quotation space the plus sign second and you see how this reads this so it's gonna print out this is my first Java video so see how that works out same way if we want to print out X it's gonna read this there's another way of printing out stuff so system dot out dot print line inside that if you could see over here prints a string then terminate the line so it, pr it prints a string and gives it a, its own line what else we could do is uh, let me show you system dot out dot print that's it it's still gonna print out the line you put in the quotations over here say this is my second Java video and we're gonna need the semicolon obviously and what this does is it prints a string on a line but does not really define the line does not count it as a line so what if I run this you could see this is my second Java video and this is put in the same line so that's how it works out so in this video you guys learn how to print out a statement in Java declare a string double integer which has a decimal and a basic integer and you guys learn what a class is and every class needs a main method alright thank you for watching the video 